Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the air with O'Hare. Uh, this aircraft, now, this is one of, uh, I guess one of my favorite in terms of livery. So let's just get into it. So at the top uh, of the box you can see the window showcasing the aircraft and uh, we'll get into the anal We'll analyze the uh, model inside, and you have all the aircrafts, almost all the aircrafts around uh, covering the box. You have Airbus and Boeing logo. You have it's a now the box says it's a scale one five hundred, but it's actually one four hundred. So this is really funny to me. And uh, turning to the bottom, you have Airbus, Boeing. And so this is the number here. Uh, it's one four hundred uh, and an uh, and a uh, a uh, Boeing seven six seven three dash three hundred registration um, J, uh, J as Jasper A as Alpha eight two nine zero and it's a Star Alliance livery. So turning to the right hand side you have uh, Aer Lingus, Emirates, Lufthansa, Sky, uh, Mark Airlines, Air France, uh, JAL, uh, Japan Airlines, Anan, which is this livery, the Star Alliance, Air Canada, Hawaiian Airlines, Qantas, Virgin Atlantic, Thai, British Airways, American Airlines, Quant uh, Quatar, Quatar Airlines, uh, Turkish Airlines, uh, China, Southern, uh, uh, Korean Air, Singapore Airlines, uh, Aeroloft, I'm pretty sure that's Aeroloft, um, Monarch, uh, uh, El Talia, uh, El Tala, El Tala, sorry, uh, if I said that wrong, KLM, that isn't even an airline, HSBC. That's a bank. That's funny. Uh, Iberia, Air Mexico. And most of these are uh, not in the Star Alliance. Like KLM is not in Star Alliance, which I find that very funny. Uh, that this would be a Star Alliance box. Uh, but it has other airlines, which is not part of Star Alliance. And uh, that's funny. Some, some of those airlines, like... I think Monarch is one of them that is not in any lines. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll confirm that in another video um, when I, in, you know, in future video. And so, uh, looking at the top, you have Airbus uh, logo, Boeing logo, and then scale one five hundred, which is not the correct scale uh, that they written. This is one four hundred. And then again on on the left hand side you have the same thing as the right hand side with all those airlines. And then turning to the bottom, you have uh, all this information, and it's pretty blank there. Uh, again, it's not a scale one five hundred; it is one four hundred. It's made in China. Please note: contains small parts, danger of being swallowed. Um, and uh, not suitable for children under 14 years. So, uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the aircraft. There it is. And it comes with a stand. So, I have removed the stand and the tape that was holding it. And so let's look at the stand first. So there's the stand. And it's got a really nice shape on, uh, on this piece here. Very nice. So I'm just going to touch that, there it is, okay. 
And there's the aircraft. Right there. All right, so let's start breaking down. So we have the cockpit windows there um, with like the wipers. I can see the wipers very detailed. Star Alliance. There's the front emergency exit and the cargo door very detailed. So there's I think Anana is Japanese. I could be wrong. Um, but I think that's the Japanese flag right there. Yeah, so it's Japanese there. Uh, you have Air Canada logo, Air New Zealand. And which one is this? Australia, I don't know. Something Australia. Uh, Lufthansa, SAS, or Scandinavian Airlines, sorry. Thai, uh, United, and uh, Varig. So, obviously you can tell this is like an old livery, uh, kind of retro because it has, uh, the United is the old uh, logo that they have there. And Varig, uh, I don't think operates anymore. So, uh, Scandinavian Airlines and Thai Lufthansa also changed their uh logo and so did Air New Zealand they changed their fonts and stuff so anyway uh so there's the registration at the back uh you have the rear cargo bay doors uh sorry door and then you have emergency exit and then you, it's hard to see but there's the over the wing exits and uh, the Star Alliance logo. Turning to the other side, you have the same thing. Uh, basically, just going the other way there. And uh, so let's just ver Verg United uh, registration back emergency exit. Uh, Thai uh, Scandinavian Airlines. Uh, Lufthansa over the wing exits. Uh, so Something Australia, uh, Air New Zealand, Air Canada, and uh, ANA and N. Well, I, I mean, I, that's what I've been always saying it. <laughs> I know there's not another N, so. And. Anna, I guess. Anna. Uh, minus one N. <laughs> Again. And uh, there's the flag of Japan there for emergency exit. And you have the Star Alliance logo right there. Uh, the engines are very detailed. You can see, sort of, I, I hope you can. I know I can see it. Yeah, you can sort of see it. Uh, that's the headlight, the, the wing headlights. Uh, and the slats, flaps, very detailed. Uh, you have a dot on the wing, in, you know, for Japan, I guess. And then on the other side, you have the registration. And on both sides, you you have... Oops. On both sides, you have the indication for the emergency. So, like, yeah. And uh, very detailed. Turning to the bottom, you have the stand hole. Uh, you have the registration, uh, Jasper Alpha 8290, and uh, that's basically it. Uh, so I, I really, I've always wanted uh, like a special Star Alliance livery, and um, here it is. So this is uh, one of my favorites here, and uh, at the top uh, there's the active aircraft flight. Uh, well, the indication of that's where it'll be. And, uh, yeah, so, um, that's, that's, uh, pretty much it. So I'm gonna put this on the stand. Also, uh, the wheels do not roll on this, uh, on this model here, on this aircraft. 
Mm, there it is. So, uh, that's it for this video. Make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, hit, hit the, uh, if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. Uh, until then, see you next time.